Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Boktai 2, Solar Boy Django. Okay, I was actually trying to do, um, Metroid Zero Mission earlier, but I don't know what it is about the game, but it seems... I don't know, it seems to lag a lot. So I might just have to, I don't know, play around with stuff when I plan to do that at a later time, but yeah, for now it's just not working out. Uh... 2004? <laughs> no. You're almost 10 years late. I don't really care what time zone it's set to right now, because I can always manually change it. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. What? Oh. My puppy's sleeping under my bed again. I'm too big to fit under there. Okay, um, thinking of something to say about the first Boktai game, to sort of give you a synopsis of it, like a little overview, but, uh, if you need to know anything about the first game, I have a playthrough of it that I did a year or two ago. Um, of course you could always go online and just read up like a quick synopsis on like Wikipedia or something. Let's see. Is that an Erboktai password? No. Let's see. What should we change our name to? Uh, well, actually... Just to keep it from what I had from Boktai 1, I'll go with this. Yeah. I only went with the... Because, uh, uh, Once, sun and moon retreat into darkness. Grand twilight descends on the wedge-binding city of the sun. A deep shadow is then born in its wake. The beginning of the end. It's not far from now. Pass through this valley and you'll finally arrive at the city of the sun, San Miguel. Or rather, the city of death that your hometown has, uh, has been turned into by the undeadening curse of the Dark Mortals. I thought the undeadening would abate with the Queen defeated, but I feel it with my solar sense. <laughs> I don't know why, but that makes me think of Spidey Sense. The undead still roam there, dark servants, stripped of life and stripped of death, and the immortal shadow that manipulates them all. Let's go, Solar Boy Kuro. Dispel the dark clouds that shroud the city of the sun. I sound like an old man in this game, Otenko. Let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. Huh? Is that a hint? <laughs> hint panels are guides for adventures left by those who have gone before. They give you useful info for your adventure and tips for overcoming obstacles. To read a panel, move close to it and press the A button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what it says. It's not my first time playing this game. I forgot, this game... Your solar gun isn't... Spiders. Your solar gun doesn't spread shot anymore. It's just, you know, kind of an average shot. Wow, with the sun bar it, setting it to three, it already goes up so quickly. Yeah. I wonder if that's something they changed just because of the first game. And well, I get that it's it's a cool concept, but I don't know, it's just a bit annoying. That's the only reason I never liked playing this game too much in the past was because you literally have to sit there and just completely you know, play outside, or cheat with a sun lamp, but it's not exactly the best idea to sit under a sun lamp too long. Careful! He's... yes, there's no doubt. He's one of the immortals, a vampire! The... Soul... Solar... 
gun. The solar gun. Gun del Sol. He took the solar gun? Still, it's no use to him. Only a solar child can operate the solar gun. It's useless in the hands of a vampire. Kuro! But how? Why would a vampire... Kuro... Uh, uh. The danger's past. For now. But I can't believe it. A vampire that can use the solar gun? Maybe he is the dark cloud covering San Miguel. Kuro. What's done is done. You can't change the past. But it doesn't mean that the future is decided. What you do right now, that's, will de eh, that's what will determine the future. Remember, the blood and soul that rest in your crimson scarf. Something like this would never have knocked your father's spirits. <laughs> Let's go, Kuro. You should find some clues in San Miguel. You must track down that vampire and retrieve the solar gun. Of course, that's a bit of a funny thing, mentioning his father. So he surfaced then, the solar boy Kuro. But he's just a kid. <clears throat> How could he have defeated the queen, let alone the count? Don't underestimate him. The blood of both the sun and moon runs in his veins. Anyway, the queen, no. Hell, simply return to her rightful place. Right then, I must get on while there's nothing in the way. Sleeping Beauty awaits her wake-up kiss. Um... Damn, now that makes me wonder... I think I know who the black, sh who the shadow is. It's been a while since I played this game, but I. Th uh. What would you like me to do about the vessel? Let it do as it pleases for now, until its entire soul sinks into darkness. Oh, okay. I don't think that is who I'm thinking. So I'm hoping not. Otherwise, I'm giving him a, an extremely deep voice. I'm still so disappointed the third game never got released stateside, just because... I mean, it sucks. The third game in this series never got released stateside, only because this one sold poorly internationally. But then they decided to, you know, release the DS game internationally afterwards. So, uh... Behold, the City of the Sun, San Miguel. But now it is truly the City of Death. Huh? Is that... Amidst the darkness. I sense a faint glimmer of life. Could there be something alive in there that escaped the undeadening? Let's go figure it out. Let's see. Oh yeah, since I've never actually... Well, since Boktai 1, it was just a playthrough. Alright, oh, that's right. Now we kind of just... Can I punch? Oh, yeah, I can punch. How much damage do I do? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> oh, okay, I forgot in this... Wait. No, no, I'm thinking of something else. I was thinking of those little orbs that follow you around. Thinking that's what the zombies did. Oh boy. Defeat the skeleton. This game is actually made by Kojima, you know, the same guy who's done the Metal Gear Solid series. Which is kind of why the sneaking aspect is implemented and... Snake actually appears in Boktai 2 and 3. He's basically just the... I don't know, he's a nameless man because he's lost his memories or something. He was actually referenced in the first game too, but... Since I didn't do an LP or anything, I didn't exactly get to point it out. Kuro, you can't defeat a skeleton without a weapon. Quick, retreat to the Eastern Passage for now. Oh. No, I never even realized that was open. Oh, how how convenient! A sword for us! 
Ah, the Gradius. It's a type of sword, I see. It's nothing compared to the solar gun, but it's better than using your bare hands. It can't purify the undead without the power of the sun. Uh, but skeletons are material-type monsters with physical form, so you can get rid of them for a while by destroying their bodies. It's all up to you now, Kuro. Yes, now we've got a sword. You know what, I've act what I would actually love to see? Django in next Super Smash Bros. You know, replace Snake and throw him in. I mean, he'd fit in better with the Nintendo cast. Not to mention all of his games have been on Nintendo consoles. Yeah, skeletons are extremely stupid. Brilliant, Kuro! The X points go up when you defeat monsters. When they reach a certain point, you'll be able to level up. By allocating the status points you get when you level up, you can enhance some of your stats. There are four stats which you can enhance. Vitality, which affects life gauge capacity. Spirit, which affects your energy gauge capacity. Strength, which affects your attack power. And agility, which affects your movement speed and your power to defend. You can allocate your points on the menu screen status menu. Even if you level up, your stats won't be enhanced unless you allocate points. So don't forget to do it. Let's see. Okay, what? Um, I have three points. So for now I think I'll go with... Let's see. Two points agility and one vitality. got map B. Gotcha! I forgot I could just randomly I could just swing wildly right now and it would pretty much do better than anything. Oh, that's right, you have armors and... Well, I think you had armors and stuff in the last game, but... Oh. Well, for a second I thought I was about to toss it. Let's see where to go. Ow, prick. Oh yeah, and if you guys haven't already noticed, you deal more damage to enemies when you're behind them. Since, you know, obviously in front they're probably guarding and close you're attacking. Uh, that's right, since we don't have any sun power, we can't actually do anything right now. No, no, no. Zombies are undead monsters! You can't defeat them without the sun's power! What were you thinking, huh? The solar boy losing the solar gun? Jeez. Huh? You crying? Crying, are you? Think crying's gonna help? Even if it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Here, I'll lend you this. Now just cheer up, okay? You got the soul device. That glove's the soul device. I hope that's not supposed to be a pun. Now that I actually pay attention to it, I think that might be a pun just for device. It can add the property of enhancement to any weapon by using the sun's power. It's one amazing magic machine! <laughs> but for enhancement, you're gonna need different types of ma moonlight magic. Huh? How come a solar machine needs moonlight magic, you ask? It's not that I don't know. I surely do. Don't worry about all those details. Just use it. Eh? Can't use magic? You really ain't cut out for all this. You sure you're the solar boy? Surely you can use easy stuff like enhancement soul. Eh? Alright, I'm doing you some bloody favors. Bloody enough to please them vampires. Ready? You learn the moonlight magic. Enhancement soul. Cool. Listen up, Kay. To use magic, you gotta equip the stuff first on the menu screen. Then your equipped magic shows up at the bottom left of the screen, Kay? 
you can switch enhancement magic on and off using the L button. When you're attacking using a weapon with enhancement on, the attack becomes a property attack, okay? Magic lowers your energy, so watch yourself and don't forget solar charging. Rest is up to you, okay? I'm going to the mall. Don't be long, alright? <laughs> what a prick. No, oh, he's just waiting for me. Damn! I forgot how much more damage that does. So, there's Moonlight Magic in the Soul Device. Well, you'll be able to purify the undead with it. You still have much to learn before facing immortals, but we can't be picky. But goodness, that girl, in the way she talks. She said she'd be waiting at the mall. Go to Sun Avenue in the heart of the city. Carry on to the north, Kuro. Yes, sir. How do I change that again? Shoot. Um... How do I ch Oh, holding the select button. How do I change the other one? I can't... How do I change the other one? What the hell? Okay, I guess I can't just turn it off, can I? Otenko. So, you ventured outside. Let me explain, Kuro. You'll need sunlight to restore your energy. But if you're exposed to very strong sunlight or are outside for too long, you'll run the risk of overheating both the soul device and yourself. If this happens, obviously you won't be able to carry on with your adventure. So if you see the overheat alert appear over the solar gauge, make sure you get into the shade and rest for a while, got it? Yeah, I remember in the first Boktai game, if you overheated, I think you actually had to wait about a day before you could do any... Damn it. This is a nice thing about using the sun with the sword, too. Do I... I don't think I have it activated, do I? How in the... Bloody hell do you change that? I, know, I guess it's always off. The only time it actually does a solar effect is if you're attacking an undead enemy. Ugh. Huh? Made it, did you, Squirt? I suppose you are, Solar Boy. I suppose you are... I wouldn't say that's a translation error, but I think with her that's supposed to be like that. Hey, take care of the rental fee for the soul device in the solar bank, okay? Yeah, about a million should do it. You what? Got no cash? Well, that's just typical now, ain't it? Anyway, I reckon this will help you out. You can borrow energy whenever you want. But watch out. Cause you'll have to pay it back, okay? Better use it carefully. Go ask over at Dark Loans if you want to know more, alright? You got the Dark Card. I hate using the Dark Card. Ah, that way you speak. It's so familiar. If I'm not mistaken, Sunflower Girl, isn't it? And you're Master Otenko, Messenger of the Sun? It's an honor to meet you. I'm the Star Reaser. Uh, reader, Zazzy. Sunflower Girl is the name the old, er, uh, I mean the mistress used in her youth. Not that I can begin to imagine the old, er, uh, the mistress at my age. She saved the world with Red Ringo, the strongest vampire hunter. I came here because of her star reading, to see the end of the world for myself. The end of the world? Is that what she- damn it? That's right. Once sun and moon retreat into darkness. Grand twilight descends on the wedge-binding city of the sun. A deep shadow is then born in its wake. I should be reading this in Zazie's voice, but I don't really want to. The beginning of the end. Hmm. 
That vampire. What on earth is he going on in this place? And what could that deep shadow be? Oh yeah! You're Solar Boy, so you should be able to help me out. Violet's Gramp went off looking for something, but he ain't come back, see? Now we can't be letting a little kid like this be all upset, right? So how's about you go off and bring the old man back, hey? And who's this little girl? Amazing that she survived through all the undeadening in this place. Probably thanks to the City of Sun's Barrier. I don't know, though. Violet's Gramps is the one to ask about all that. That old man happens to be Steel Smith, you know? Smith? He's still alive? Oh, yeah! That's why you gotta go and save him, alright? Steel Smith. He used to be an excellent gunsmith. People called him the Gunmaster. He's the man that taught your father Ringo, the great vampire hunter, about guns. He's sure to have some idea about what's causing all these strange things here. Going by my star reading, he headed to the cathedral just northwest of here. Of course, I'd go there myself. Oh, me self. But I'm supposed to be watching the barrier, see? The barrier that protects this here city of suns getting weaker. I tell you, Damn, this is annoying to read here. I don't know how much I can do to help, but I'll be trying my best at any rate. Look! That's... Solar Gun Lens. Flare! Me found it a while ago. Hey, Curl, was it? Go on and take it as payment for saving her gramps. With that, you'll be able to use an enhancement flame, got it? You learn the Moonlight Magic. I'm just wondering how we lost all of this shit again. It's like every other game, you know, there's a sequel. Magically, between the original and the sequel, we lost everything. But now we have to find it all again. If that lens was just lying around, does that mean... Oh! Okay, he stole... Now I feel stupid. <laughs> I already forgot that the vampire stole it. First things first, we'd better find Smith. Come on, Crow. let's head for the cathedral. Oh. Alright, well, yeah, that's the first episode of Boktai 2. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is going to be an interesting game. I haven't played it in a few years, so... I hope I'm not going to have any problems. Because Boktai is actually one of those games that's kind of annoying and sometimes difficult to find out where you need to go or what you need to do. Ooh, especially with some of the puzzles. God, there's just... <laughs> there's so... Oh, that's how I active... Oh, now I feel stupid. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I feel silly. This is gonna be an interesting game to play again. I love these games, though. I mean, if you haven't played, well, I can't exactly tell you to go and buy a copy of the game anymore since, you know, Game Boy Advance games aren't really sold in stores unless it's specialty shops or online. And online, you're not exactly guaranteed to find the best copy. Or, you know, a working copy. So yeah, anyways, that's it for the first episode of Let's Play Boktai 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow with another episode. Until then, bye guys!